What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning the pay-per-view numbers of Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury rematch part two. And they have came in, the sources of, uh, of the rematch by Mike Coppinger. The rematch between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury generated in the neighborhood of approximately 800,000 to 850,000. Pay-per-view buys in North America, best performance by far for a heavyweight title since Tyson Lewis in 2000 view, or 2002. Wilder and Fury once sold around 325,000 pay-per-view buys. Look, this is, an ex this is a success. It is a success, why? Because we know about illegal streams. We knew everybody that saw that fight didn't pay for it. If you're an American, this is the Americans. We This is not reflecting, a, you know, overseas or anywhere else. And Bob Arum was projecting uh, 1.1, you know, or even 2 million pay-per-view buys, but that did not happen, okay? What we got is that. If you guys don't know how this works, pay-per-view works like this. It's $80 a pop, right? 80 times 85, uh, 85, oh, well, 8.5, right? Should I say 850,000 pay-per-view buys? That's $68 million, okay? So uh, even with the live gate, what, he's, what they projected was 96 million, okay? Now, even the, um, plus the live gate is 16.9. So even 16.9 compared to 68, where you add that together, that's still, they still take a loss because they have to make 1.2 million pay-per-view buys so everybody can get paid the right way. So they took a hit because now the network has to come out of their pocket to, to uh, substitute, to, to fill in the agreements or the guarantee of these fighters. Now, these fighters are guaranteed $25 million or five plus an additional 25, which is retarded still, you know, and I'm going to let me stop right there and let me explain why. It's retarded to say, hey, man, I'm going to give you $5 million. I'm going to give you $5 million for fighting each other. Then I'm going to give you an additional $25 million. Then I'm going to give you an additional $25 million. That sounds shady to me. Why? Because... Why would you give a person an additional 25 million? Like the 25 million wouldn't be the thing that you would be guaranteed or you would look to see. What would you rather see? $25 million or $5 million? Someone would told you first. That's it's retarded. It makes no sense. So you're telling me you have five million dollars guaranteed, but then an additional 25. It makes no sense at all. $25 million plus an additional $5 million should be the way that was worded, but it was worded the way they wanted you to say it because it's the, the wording is in the details. The devil's in, in the details. So we don't know if that's really a guarantee. That's just maybe something that they guarantee if this number of 1.2 is fulfilled. Okay, that's what I believe. Now... We have um, the live gate. The guys make no more extra money. And now you ask yourself, wow, $68 million plus 16.9. Wow, that's pretty good. You know, 68 million, 78 million, you know, um, 87 million, right? Well, <clears throat> that's still short of 96 million that they needed. So they're short that amount of money. So from 90, from 87, 87 uh, million to 96 million, boom. So that's how much they have to come out of their pocket to guarantee these fighters. But again, I question that. However, what did, Amar, what did Anthony Joshua make on his last fight? He made 1.6, and that was only in London. You know, not to mention the uh, guarantee of 85 million. 
Do you see, wouldn't it, wouldn't it sound retarded if, if Anthony Joshua, they said, hey, Anthony Joshua, we're going to give you uh, $10 million plus an additional $40 million. That makes no fucking sense. So again, that's why I question that. You never heard little janky-like things or little loopholes or shortcuts that people use when it's talking about Joshua. Joshua got $85 million. That's it. He got $35 million in New York. That's that. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what, you re that's what he's going to receive. But it's always with these other fighters, it's like, oh, well, you're getting this and then plus that and this, that. The fight, the, the, look, the fight was a success but at the same time, it took a loss due to the merger of uh, networks. They required much to make to guarantee that fighters will be paid. You know, um, that's the whole problem with merging networks. If you don't make the amount of money it takes to merge these networks to be worth them splitting the profits and guarantee the fighters, this is what you're going to have. Okay? So... The question you ask yourself is, who is the A side? You know, Anthony Joshua or uh, Tyson Fury at this point. So let's look, because I put a poll out. So we're going to look at that real quick. Okay, right now it's at 514 votes. Not a lot due to the platform, but... We have 69% voted for, for Anthony Joshua versus 31% voted for Tyson Fury. So, um, but as of right now, you guys have voted that Anthony Joshua is still the A-side. However, I don't really think that this is really a debate based on the numbers. Because Anthony Joshua can have a 14,000 seat arena, but then sell out a paper um a pay-per-view in the sky sports and you remember they went up five pounds right where deontay wilder and tyson fury together only made eight hundred and fifty thousand pay-per-view buys while anthony joshua's making and ruiz too was making 1.6 okay so the fight of the third fight we have to see what his marquee value was and i'm talking about tyson fury because it never was wilder wilder really wasn't in the race for comparison okay that's that um so there might be a lot of a lot of back and forth if that fight gets made which honestly i doubt that fight gets made it should be made but things don't always happen in boxing as they supposed to go okay so i would like to see anthony joshua take on tyson fury for undisputed but deontay wilder of course um according to his last post He's activated the contract. He's going to take the uh, rematch, and they're going to fight again. So the Anthony Joshua versus, versus Tyson Fury fight as of right now shouldn't even be a debate, but at least we do know the specs. We know the details. We know how much they made, and we compared it to Anthony Joshua's. So you guys tell me what you think about Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, the rematch, uh, incoming pay-per-view numbers. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys have been Counterpunch. Peace.